Rhode Island's Lieutenant Governor says misinformation on social media is keeping vaccination rates down in the Ocean State, especially in our hometown of Providence. Sabina Matos made the comments on this week's Newsmakers. Target 12 investigator and Newsmakers host Tim White is here now with the details. Matos was the president of the Providence City Council before becoming lieutenant governor, and her ward was among the hardest hit regions in the state for the coronavirus. A Target 12 analysis of health department data finds nearly one in five Providence residents has tested positive for the coronavirus at some point during the pandemic, yet only about 57 percent of city residents have received at least one dose of the vaccine. Why? Well, there is a lot of misinformation out there. We're fighting misinformation um, in, in social media. Service Lieutenant Governor Sabina Mato says she into. sees myths about the vaccine from people who post on her own social media accounts. I see it from uh, friends or relatives that are getting that type of misinformation. I think that's what is affecting our numbers. 64% of the state has received at least one shot, according to the latest data, but the number of new vaccinations are trailing off, while new cases are inching upward. Over the past two weeks, new infections has more than doubled from 16 cases per 100,000 residents to 33. Matos, however, does not see a return to a mask mandate in the near future. It's tough to say to the whole state of Rhode Island, you have to go back and wear a mask when you see those numbers, when it, the, the issue right now is a, a specific communities. I think we have to continue to push um, those communities. The lieutenant governor's comments echoes those from the White House, which has taken aim at major social media platforms, arguing they are often allowing debunked misinformation about the vaccine to spread. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.